thank you very much ni wakorowe tuned in theni watafarira yaku ya kafa kwe aria theni watafarira eno tuga before odhine kanene maodo kwe jihira ni kafa we aria na umozo tunoka kudhikire liya madhena tuka kudhikire liya weira wa mutimia we haha mwezi ogu wale mwezi ya neto maige naro nige gaya kamu hewa hotani na nikio toki ite nige dhahatu nite nile nake so karibu sana kwenye show mde salimia wasikilizaji na watazamaji theni tuumbia weni nani Hamjambo watazamaji na wasikizaji. Karibuni sana kusikia ushuhuda wangu. Jina langu naitwa Virginia Wanjiro. Mimi ni mzaliwa wa hapa. Na mtege masikio kwa sababu yale ndakoyasema nyingi takuwa kutua moyo lakini itasaidia wengi ambao wamefungwa. Mm -hmm. Kwa sababu kuna mambo utendeka, watu wanafikiria pengine ni ndoto ama yanafanyika tu kwa movie but ilinitendekea. Na nitakachokisema nitakumpa Mungu tukufu kwa sababu umbali ambao amenileta na alinikomboa kutoka kwa midomo ya kaburi kwa sababu kaburi lingenimeza kwa uwazi hey. sasa siku ya leo nimekuja kushuhudia ukuwa bwana mm -hmm. na upendo wa Mungu karibu asante eh, sasa hebu tuanze hapo eh, kuliendaji historia ya babako <coughs> sikila mtu akona babake wewe well, usio yeah. kesi wewe na babako ikakuwa ya yeah, kila mtu na babake yeah. Uh, kwanza kabisa ningependa kusimulia kwa kifupi mahusiano yangu na babangu. Uh, babangu mimi na babangu tulikuwa tunapendana sana. Girl child. Yes. Na baba. Yeah. Tulikuwa na uhusiano wa kipekee ambapo alinipenda sana. Uh, to a point hata alikuwa anakuja shule kutoa fujo. Hey. Mwalimu angenikosea. Ana kumbuka kuna wakati ah kuna wakati mwalimu alininyoa na ile unaenda sala unapata kuna laini sasa mwalimu akaninyoa ile kuweko wali ile unaweka makasi yeah. na nywele ilikuwa very neat lakini akaninyoa ah nilipoenda nyumbani sababu niliponyolewa nitumo nyumbani ili nikanyolewe nilimpata hata akunipeleka kinyozi shule kwa mkono shule mhm mm ile fujo alitoa lakini wakati huo alizungumza maneno mazito kwa mwalimu lakini si kufurahi. Hiyo wakati nilifurahia sana. Okay, okay kwa sasa siwezi penda afanye hivyo. <laughs> lakini wakati ule kila mtu alikuwa akionana mimi ni hero. Oh, yeah. Ni kwa sababu ni kwa baba ambaye ni hero anajua kuni defend. Anasimamisha walimu. Yeah. Mm. So alifanya mambo mengi sana na alipenda sana nywele. Sasa wakati nilinyolewa alikuwa na uchungu oh, yeah, sana. Nikamu affect. Mm. Uh, so akatoa fujo kabisa. Akatoa fujo kabisa na akasema maneno mazito tu appointe tule mwalimu akadimotiwa. Kulikuwa na hajua alikuwa na influence pia zote yeye alikuwa mwalimu. Okay. Yeah, na ali. So within a crew tu. Yeah, ali Joe watu ya yeah, alikuwa mwalimu. Okay. So what was this special about your friendship na baba yako? I don't know it was just natural. Mm -hmm. Set ilikuwa ilikuwa tu mtoto na baba. Ni mtoto tu na baba. Mm -hmm. Na hiyo yeah, yeah feeling ilikuwa so strong of which hata kama maybe ako on the wrong utaona ulikuwa unampenda tu babangu hakuwa perfect mm -hmm. alikuwa anabugia kileo na kuna wakati mwingine angepata katika angejipata katika upande mbaya wa sheria na anashikwa angeshikwa mm -hmm. kwa sababu angefanya vituko sometimes amejipata ameshikwa na mimi nilikuwa naenda kutoa fujo mm -hmm. at a very tender age oh. umri wa miaka 7 8 kumi hapo ningeenda kwa police station huko okay, bondeni police station ama sometimes Central Police Station na Tofu Johadi anaachiliwa. Oh. Hata ilikuwa nafika mahali hapelewi kotini. Wanajua msichana wake kikuja hapa. Nikishakuja nimetoa fujo, nimesema yangu yote nimeongea, nimelia. Sasa hiyo kumi wako kata. Wana oje sana nilikuwa mtu mdogo. Miaka 7 8 10 hapa. What do you mean? Na una food kunywa mazisha police station. Yeah. Itakuwaje sasa umefika baada ya kuomba sasa umefanya tantrums policy, babako amekuja shule amefanya pia tantrums. Later ume grow up mko mtu mzima. Yeah, hata nime grow up. Mm. Um, um, kile kilichotokea au uh, kwanza nilipata ndoto. Uh, ndoto nilioipata ilikuwa kwamba ndugu yangu alikuwa amezama kwa maji. Kuna mali kule chini upande wa langalanga kuna mali mvua ilinyesha sana mm. na paka flood. Palipo flood sasa ikakuwa ni kama ni a small lake sasa nikaota kama ndugu yangu amezama mahali pale sasa nikakuja kuitwa nikamwambia hii ndugu yako anaonekana amezama so our first born brother okay. nika this is the dream now is a dream yeah. Yeah. sasa nilipoota ile ndoto nikaota na kuja kuambiwa kuja identify kama ni yeye 
alafu sasa tujeni aje na nikaenda but it, it was in the dream nilipoenda pale akatolewa ndani ya maji nikaona akiwa ndani ya maji niliona ile ni kofi yake sababu ni mtu alikuwa anapenda kuvalia kip alafu nikaona alikuwa amevaa jacket ya red ni yake akatolewa nikaambiwa na identify kama ni yeye na ikawa ni yeye na ikawa tukakuwa na ile hali ya kuomboleza na matanga ikafanywa kwa ndoto moja kwa ya mm-hmm. kwa ndoto moja <coughs> na kazikwa sasa ile siku ya mazishi alizikwa kwa makaburi ya North Cemetery katikati ya miti miwili alafu nilikuwa ombolezaji wako wengi alafu sasa mimi nilikuwa na jiona nikiwa katika ile hali ya upweke nikiwa pembeni kwenye ua la makaburi nikilia nikiwa peke yangu lakini sikuwa na mtu wa kuniliwaza sikuwa na mtu wa kunituliza lakini nilikuwa na ile uchungu sana lakini sana nilipogurumuka nikaona ni ndoto nikajuliza ina maanisha nini kitu cha kwanza ni chukua simu hiyo ilikuwa mwaka wa 2009 mwanzo mwanzo 29 yes mm-hmm. sasa kitu nilichokifanya nilichukua simu nika scroll number mimi nikampigia anaitwa Dan kumpigia nikamuuliza uko vipi ah niko poa ndio najitarisha kwenda job ah niko na kweli ilikuwa ndoto mm-hmm. arasi kuchukulia kwa uzito au hata niombe Wajua wakati mwingine wa Mungu anakuletea ndoto akikupe warning sometimes anakupenga road map sometimes anakuguide lakini sasa uje mimi sasa sikuchukulia kwa uzito kwa sababu spiritually nilikuwa bado infant na mwezi huo huo ambao niliota kuna siku nikatembea nyumbani nilipotembea nyumbani nilipofika tu hivi niliponoa kumlango babangu ndiye alinifungulia alipofungua kumbe nayo pressure ilikuwa inamsumbua sasa pressure ikapanda sana hadi ikamwangusha hata alianguka hiyo day nilienda home lakini ilikuwa the same month actually ilikuwa like after two weeks after the dream sasa alipoanguka atapofika anza kumtoka kwa mdomo akakuwa unconscious and all that sasa si nikaanza kutafuta sa means juu mama Ako pia alikuwa kazini alikuwa okay. peke nyumbani mm-hmm. sasa mama alikuwa kazini sasa nika, nika 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 seek help nikatafuta watu alafu sasa tuka kumpeleka hospitali tukampeleka PGH kumpeleka PGH wakatuambia tuchukue file akuwa admitted sasa nikashangaa na admitiwa je na chakua checked at least angefanywa diagnosis mm. kwanza tujue shida ni nini um sasa tukasemezana na wenye tulikuwa nao tukaona tukimwacha hapo inaweza kuwa fatal mm. na unaona sasa media imembiwa admitiwe na hata kuna daktari amemwatend ya yeah, so tukamtoa kwa fujo tu tukampeleka hospitali nyingine ambapo waliatendiwa na akapelekwa emergency na akashughulikiwa hatimaye akalazwa um alipolazwa ikakuwa ni safari sababu alikuwa aliuguzwa kwa muda sababu alilazwa kwa muda wa miezi tatu lakini kuna wiki mbili ali, alipewa rusa na ka, akaenda nyumbani lakini after some time akarudishwa akarudishwa hospitali <coughs> Sasa mimi nili have kocha kazi zangu nikawa nina nikajicommit kwa nikimshughulikia hosi sana nikakuwa nikienda hosi kila siku ni watu kama mapema na shinda the whole day hospital oh, okay. yes sasa after 3 months sasa kuna ile siku ilikuwa on on a wednesday alitaka kuniongelesha sana tulikuwa tuna communicate juu na wiki mbili za mwisho kabla age atakuja kuwa kama dada. Yeah. Oh. So, um, uh-huh. kuna alishikwa na stroke. Aki hospitalini sasa upande wake wa kulia ukakuwa hawezi fanya kazi yeye umeparalyze. Sasa hangeweza kuandika na sasa ile stroke ilikuwa ime affect hadi mazungumzo ime affect speech. Unajua kuna watu wanashikwa na stroke wanakuwa affected. Mm. In affect speech saa kwa kiaza kuzungumza. Sasa kuna vile tulikuwa tukizungumza na science na tulikuwa tunaweza communicate. Okay. But that particular when is Jane nilipoenda alitaka sana kuniambia kitu. Whatever alikuwa anasema sikuwa ninaelewa. Sasa akaone akaonesha ishara nitafute kalamu na karatasi. Okay. Lakini sasa hu yeye yeah, ajikutumia mkono wa kushoto na mkono wa kulia umeparalyze. Sasa um akani akani ak, nikastrago kabisa kujaribu kuelewa akajaribu kuandika akashindwa pia na mkono ya left mm. hadi akamwaga machozi. Na mimi nikataka kujua nataka kuniambia nini sikujua. Mimi nikakuja tu nyumbani nikuja nikijiuliza maswali ya mbaka kuniambia nini. Um, nilipokuja nikafanya shughuli zangu na nikalala. Lakini ilipofika mwendo wa saa 
lakini nikapata ndoto hiyo ndoto alikuwa ananiwevia hai dia ananiwevia kiniambia kwa hili mimi nikaamka ai nikashindwa ananiambia kwa hili nini alafu sasa hiyo siku dakika kama ananiambia kesho tunaweza mdischarge at least aende afanye mtafutia therapist aende amfanyie therapy nyumbani again mobility atatembea sasa mimi nilikuwa najua kesho nienda kudischarge dad anatoka sasa anashangaa ananiambia kwa hili anaenda sasa sikuchukulia ndoto pia kwa uzito ndoto niliota sadisa ilikuwa sadisa na nusu ndoto ya pili kwa sasa akikuwa yes, yes. nyingine sasa. nyingine tu bado the same same night oh, ile kukuwa niliota ya kwanza ukaamka nikaamka but sikufanya lolota la sikuomba or anything na nikarudi kulala uh-huh. nikaota ndoto ya pili the same thing and we via kiss me oh. yes alinambia hai dia this was for like an hour actually ilikuwa intervals ya 30 minutes kushiko na usingizi na anakuwa yeah what did you do nothing i did nothing niliamka na nikalala tena ya tatu ilikuwa saa 10:30 saa 10:30 the same night yes ala akanitokea akaniambia akuongee hiyo time alikuwa na huzuni sana kwenye uso wake akaniwevia tu lakini akaanza pia kutoa machozi sasa nilipo alipo toka na hiyo sura mimi nikakuwa na uoga na nikaamka na sikuweza kulala tena lakini sikuomba. Unaona sasa shetani had blind my vision. Sikuomba na sikufanya chochote. Sasa nilikuwa nikajiambia ah inafanisha nini? Mimi niliamka na nikaenda kwa bafu nikaoga sasa nilikuwa naongozea kukuti ndio ni ni ndio hospitalini. Kumbe hiyo saa kumi na nusu ndio alikuwa anaenda. Wakati sasa alinitokea akiwa na uzuni. Um, sasa ilipofika 6 asubuhi sasa. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mimi nikatoka. Sasa kuna gari ilikuwa inanichukua. Sababu nilikuwa na daily mm-hmm. gari ya Molo line ilikuwa inanichukua. So driver alikuwa ananipigia kila wakati umetoka. Eh, sasa anani drop. Sasa kakuita ukaingia gari. Nikaingia gari, sasa tukafika hospitali na kani drop. Tukifika hospitali ilikuwa around 6:30. Um, sasa nilipofika kwenye lango la hospitali nikaona giza. Total blackout siku anaona chochote. Lakini kwa gari mimi naona kumekuja kuna mwanga kuna nini lakini sasa niliposhuka kufika kwa geti ya hosi ni giza tu okay how now kwa mawazo no in reality huoni kabisa sioni kabisa hata naasha light ya simu haimuliki mimi nikaambia soja kuna asha light ni mchana tu mimi naambia soja mimi sioni itabidi umenisindi akaniambia sasa ndaje ndaje aje hapa hivi na una gari zitakuja zikiingia yeah. yeah lakini sasa akahaba kufunga gate akaniambia na kusindikiza hadi kwa gate ya pili kutoka hapo sasa hivi akanisindikiza na siku anaona kitumbe akisonishike hata mkono mimi sioni siku anaona anything akaniza uko sawa macho yako iko sawa namwambia ya siku anaona chochote sasa tukafika kwa gate ya pili na unaona mengine ama tu nikiza unaona niko na tu giza siku anaona chochote um sasa tulipo tulipofika kwa gate ya pili akaniambia uje misa sisi pita hapa na uso jo hapa naona kama ametoka sasa itabidi merudi kwa station yangu utabidi ungoje ndende tafadhali ni pia kusaidia mpaka ufike kwa ward sasa akarudi sasa mimi nikakaa hapo after some time soja akakuja soja aliporudi nikamwambia nataka unisindi uje sasa nilikuwa nishatembea hospitalini kwa muda tumejuana mm. sasa ni stranger okay. ni watu tume Najana mimi najana. Tumeinteract hiyo mm. mdako bango wamekuwa melazo pale. <coughs> Sasa usoja akakubali akanipeleka hadi kwa mlango. Ile room ya bango alikuwa ya. Mm. Sasa mimi alipofika tulipofika kwa mlango si akarudi lakini bado naona giza. Sasa nikienda ku push mlango je mostly rooms za hospitali huwa zifungwe. Sasa naenda kusukuma mlango nasikia na vurugu kwa nyuma. Mm-hmm. Sasa nasikia navutwa kwa nyuma kwa sweta na najaribu kufanya hivi sioni mtu mwenye ananivuta. Nikavutwa mara tatu. Nikaenda ku push mlango nasikia navutwa. Mm. Naenda ku push ya tatu nasikia navutwa. Lakini sasa nika gather courage nikasukuma mm. mlango. Mm. Sasa kusukuma mlango sasa ndio nikaona light. Lakini kwa sababu ni mwana light kitanda ilikuwa empty, cabinets zilikuwa open hakuwa ndani. Sasa nikashindwa ongeza ilikuwa nini? Maji iko open lakini sio ni babangu hayuko hapa beddings zimetolewa kila kitu iko ime, imekuwa emptied hata cabinet ilikuwa na a lot of drinks na kila kitu shopping shopping nilikuwa nimefanya jana 
yote kuna isha tolewa mm. nikaangalia wardrobe hata nguo zake hakuna isha tolewa sasa nikaenda kwa nursing station sasa so, sasa so, naona vizuri sasa yeah. okay naona vizuri nikauliza kwa api babangu wakaniambia ai amezidiwa tukam alizidiwa siku tukampeleka emergency hata sikongoje wanipe any other information mimi huo mbio sinajua kwenye emergency mm. sinikaenda mimi na puluko curtain sivi nikiangalia kuna simoni naona kuna ajali ilikuwa imefanyika usiku naona watu wakimobilize huko walikuwa na injuries injuries mm. lakini sasa nikamtafuta all over emergency room sikumpata sasa nikarudi kwa nursing station sasa nursing station nurse wakaniambia itabidi mimi na kwa dr stemba umgoje akuje aongee na wewe sasa mimi nikaenda kwa dakt kwa room ya daktari hapo sana saa moja ilikuwa inaelekea sasa huo daktari alikuwa juu atanibreakia ni usaji sasa kaza kunipeleka hivi akaniambia actually ongoje daktari wa mchana mimi <laughs> nimemaliza hivi sasa hivyo tu kunizungusha tu actually walikuwa na wanajua hata babangu angetaka kufidiwa kutaka wa mfid alikuwa anasema ngoje muite ni msichana so, alijua hapa kuna moto yeah sasa daktari wa mchana alipokuja pia alinizungusha sana alinizungusha for almost two hours lakini uliza tu maswali eh hey, mlikuwa na uhusiano gani tu tutif leo mpoteze mtu close kwa maisha yako unaweza fanya nini naweza kumpoteza aje mtu kama nani kama babangu ukampoteza unaweza sasa kanza tu story na picha around the bush hapo kupanga panga tu ya sasa alikuwa angeleka bina react lakini sasa mimi mind yangu haiko hapo hata sikuwa sikuwa nafikiria uh, itafika wakati babangu akufe yes najua watu hukufa watu huwa na wanakufa lakini lakini, lakini si sasa najua sasa hata sikuwa nafikiria inaweza fikua ati hayuko mm-hmm. or anything okay. actually nilikuwa najiambia selikuwa toki and all that tukazungushana kabisa eventually so akakuwa too blunt mm. na kaniambia actually he left us to where where did he go mm. okay siko ana click ana maanisha nini yeah, that has left you know, like eh sasa niko alienda wapi mm. na kwa nini alienda unaweza sasa si connect ati ni kwenda ati aliaga or anything sasa okay. anajaribu kutumia the nicest word possible at least ndio niweze ku connect but mind yangu ilikuwa haiko hapo sasa at the end of it akasema you know your father died at exactly 4:30 am we tried everything but he died what are you saying sorry nile mm-hmm. sasa ile mbegu alipanda ndani yangu nikakuwa ile ile hali ya denial nikaanza yeah. kutafuja nikisema no you killed him hakuwa kufa sasa ilikuwa toke leo mm-hmm. nilikuwa nakuja leo tumfanyie kitu wakati alafu sio siku kuna my, one of my cousin alikuwa kuja ni said tukanye papa wa kuja tu discharge yeye pia amefika sana hiyo sasa ah kwa amefika by that time mm. um, alifika ile point kuna ile point sasa nili insist wanipeleke kwa mog mm. ndio ni confirm yeah sasa hiyo time wakati sasa nilipelekwa na yeye kazi yangu ndio alikuwa anafika na yeye kana akapewa news ya kwamba alienda baba aliaga lakini sasa mimi nilikuwa kwa denial sasa nilikuwa nataka niende nione mwili ndikubali hata sijika ningekubali tuna uh, wakati waliniambia we tried everything already uko chance za nilikuwa ni chance zangu nikiwa mm. accused mm. of negligence he shouldn't have died mm. and he shouldn't be dead he can't even die yeah he can't even die so one of the nurse akasaniwa nipeleke kwa mog Um, tulipofika kwa mogu tukapata mochari attendant alikuwa na clean sasa akatuambia itabidi mume ngoja kidogo uh, nimalize kuosha within no time akamaliza kama sema matoa pointe akamaliza kuosha alipomaliza kuosha saa katu asha in ile time nenda kuchukua hatu ya kwanza ndo niingie kwa mogu sasa my dad ni akakuwa anatoka nikamwona amevalia tu gown hospitali kutoka hapa komog akanismailia akaniambia you know they are lying at you i'm not dead so means ni kasmai akasmail na mimi ni kasmail back at him what do you mean like to create a kiota usiku sasa tena ni kuota mchana ma ina ah hiyo si kuota ni kwa entrance ya mog nilikuwa nenda kuona mwili yake lakini ile nimechukua hatu ya kwanza ndo niingie yeye akakuwa anatoka from the mochari 
Hata nikamwambia hata ulipona hata paralysis iliisha. Yaani okay mpaka umetembea hiyo. Au unaongea. Ume gain mobility and all that. Sasa kaniambia you know what? Enda kwa waiting bill ngoje nini ni change. Yes. Lakini nasa ski, au ski. Sasa mimi zi nikapiga about time. Sasa nimeza tena wingi. Oh, hiyo conversation wa sikia tutote. I think wa kumuona na wa kuelewa. Hata si kumuongelesha tena nasa. Mimi si nikaenda kwa wingi ni Benny Kangoja. Sasa nilipenda kwa wingi Benny kapata my cousin hapo. Sasa kaza kuniambia, kunipenda story ile kuconsole mtu lakini anaambia wewe unaongea nini dada zako. Si ngoja ana kama, si ngoja. Where does she relax? Mimi sasa ni kwa tu saa. Na actually alikama. Alikama kama kwa dress up. Yeah. Laisa my cousin na muoni. Tuli hata tulipotoka hosi tulipanda tulibodi matatu. The same matatu. Lakini ya muoni. Disconnect. Na unisame he because in which is part am I not getting? Muko na he in ako in spirit ama ako in No no no. Mi na muona physically. Na muona juu ya si cousin na muoni. Sini ghost kwake. Lakini mimi namuona. Zaji kusimu. Na kaniambia actually acha na yeye. Hanioni. Tukakuja tukafika town. Unaongea na yodad? Yes. Tukafika town na mimi sasa hata sikufikiria kwenda home at nipe madhi. Is it story? Story ama report or anything. Mimi najua my dad ajakufa. So the doctor slid to me. Naona nikakuwa katika ile hali ya denial ama ya kutokubali sasa mimi nikakuwa tu niko babangu acha kufa si yako sawa hata amepona eh na mira kweli happen jo hata alitembea ali, ali alikuwa sha ile stroke imeisha jo alikuwa na ugonjwa wa kisukari alikuwa na na hiyo sasa stroke kampata na pressure so hiyo tembe mnatembea mnakula conversation mm -hmm. Yo kazi na nasikia wewe ukiongea naye na hiyo dai. Eh anachangana ongea. Sasa yeye alikuwa anafikiria tu ile stress ya news zenye nimepewa. Sasa ni kama anajaribu sasa ku recollect our previous conversations. Joko kisikia anaongea na daddy yes. Lakini sasa anashangaa kwani nime Sasa wewe hujajulisha hata kina madhi. Ah actually leta si kwenda home. Nilikuja direct hapa kwangu. Mhm. Uh -huh. Na nika relax. Sasa wenye walienda kutembea mchana wakapewa news. news so zindo alipelekea madhi news na kweli mzee amelala bado kwa mungu wao walienda kuona mwili hawa wengine i don't know mimi siko yenda mocha tena si mimi najua babangu aje kufa sababu hata jioni ya hiyo siku ndio saa madhi alikuwa ananipigia simu niende nyumbani so alikuwa anashindwa atanipelekea news aje hata alikuwa anashangaa kwa nini sijaenda hosi jota kama ikazi na yeye hakuenda Jo ni mwambie your dad si mwa si si Yes sasa Johnny ndo nilikuwa napigwa si kwa ukuje home na usikose lakini hata si kwenda hiyo siku so nilienda kesho yake Sasa mimi kwenda kesho yake napata kila mtu ndugu zake relatives huko huko Alafu pia yako huko Good you mean Yes Alikuwa mang Wenye wako huko kwa tena Yes kuna ile kuna ile kitia kitia baba na kalianga nyumbani alikuwa ameangalia tu hapo wakipokiongea wako tu hapo sasa mimi ni niko nilipofika nika smile yako nzee hata wamuoni eh hata wamuoni sasa sasa mimi nilipofika nilipoingia kwa nyumba kitu cha kwanza kumuona ilikuwa yeye tu kitu ilikuwa kokona na mahali mimi nikamuona akanismailia na mimi nika smile na akaniambia sivyo yes, mtu yeah. okay. so kila kitu matanga ikapangwa eh huambi Unajua wakati sasa umekuwa deceived you don't think right. By deceiving you mean? Sasa unajua sasa ni ile shetani alini deceive. Uh -huh. Na wakati ile deception iliingia kwa mind yangu sikuwa na think right. Me my joy was seeing my dad alive. So Nothing matter. Ni kama illusion ama ni nini? Not see si illusion. Unajua ni demons. Unajua sasa pale shetani maybe iliangalia ile relationship nilikuwa nayo na my dad saka akajua hapa atateka advantage. So naona akani deceive na mimi nikabai ile deception. Unaona sasa sema nionyesha babangu aje kufa. Na sasa tisiji watu wa kufi. Juna na sasa tia wasn't that young. Sasa tisiji watu wa kufi. Na sasa mimi nika nika nikabai ile deception kwa sababu ya ignorance. Unaona? Okay. Unaona sasa wakati umebai ile ignorance, wewe mwenyewe unakuwa ni kama unakufa kiroho. So your spiritual being is not alive anymore. 
Unaona mengine ni kama umeingia kwa ulimwengu mwingine. Sasa unaona nikakuwa nakuwa manipulated na demon because that one was wasn't my dad. Ilikuwa sana shetani ameva sura yake. Anakuja in form of my dad. Yes. So what will happen now? Ngoko mazi mkutano ya matanga ya your dad. Yeah. Wewe na your dad muna munaongea na wengine hawajui. Yeah. Hata kila mtu alikuwa anashanga. Ai, anakubali aje. ile relationship. Alafu sasa sikuwa sad and all that. Na kila mtu anakuja kuniambia pole hii yenyewe umekufiwa. Hii yenyewe ni umekufiwa. Baada ya mamangu apewa pole na mimi napewa since kila mtu alijua the, 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 the relationship we had with my dad and everything happened na tuka ikafika siku ya kwenda kuchukua mwili mmoja sasa. Yes. Na tulipenda kuchukua mwili actually boarded the house and we boarded together. He was sitting beside me. Yes. Na mnachukua mwili yake mmoja kwa casket. Sir, mimi nafungua casket. Unajua hata ile wakati mwili inatolewa ndani ya mog. Sasa ndugu zake ndio wamebeba sanduku wanaitoa nje ndio watu wafanye viewing and all that. He was behind them. Sawa mshika sanduku lakini hapo nyuma yao mimi namuona tu. Na okay fine. Kwa kwa, kwa sasa ni normal human being. Now kando na hii ya, ya deception. How feel anything unusual no. na mwenyewe? No. Mi sasa furaha yangu ilikuwa namuona babangu kwa hai. Actually nilikuwa naona ghost, nilikuwa namuona physically. Kila kitu yake. Jodi ile suti yenye babangu alizikuwa nayo ni mimi nilinunua na alikuwa amevaa. Alikuwa amevaa. Hey. Alikuwa amevaa hiyo dress code na hiyo ni mimi nilikuwa nimeshop so ndio alikuwa amevalia hizo nguo. Wakati amesema nyuma ya watu. Yes, lakini pia mwenye kwa sanduku kwa na the same matter. Okay. Hey. Sa tukio kwa gari nilikuwa nafungua sanduku sikuwa hata na uoga. Nilikuwa nafungua sanduku na namwambia you know this guy looks like you. Ananiambia you know Ngoja tu tukipiga story na tukafika kwa makaburi. Na sasa wenye mkono wako wako hasi. Hakuna mtu mwingine alikuwa kwa hasi. Sio tu waogopa kupanda hasi. Hakuna mtu mwingine. Ikasa ikasa dereva na na wewe na, na mtu yake ya kazi na wewe. Hakuna mtu mwingine. Sio mnakuja mnakuja mkipiga story? Yes. Tukio tukiongea na tukafika kwa makaburi. Sasa kufika kwa makaburi sasa kuna mali tulisi uh, north north end. kwa makaburi na kuna saa mali tuliketi. Na yeye. Eh. Tupige toast. Wale wanaendelea kumzika na lakini ni naye. Sasa hapo sasa uje kabla sasa ibadi ipangwe uje watu wafiki wanaanza ibadi. Immediately sasa kuna So the group company tu. Eh tulikuwa tu pamoja tumekalia sati ni grave. Eh yeah. Mhm. Siku kwa nimekaa mali penye familia ilikuwa imekaa. Sasa namwambia na siwaambie watu huko. Hai, nilielewa pana. Watu wabaki wakijua nimekufa. Kwa ndio wameamini wazi kwa hivyo. Ibadi ikafanywa. Ibadi ilipofanywa ikafika mahali familia huitwa hiyo mbewe. Yes 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 familia wanaitwa ndio watenganishwe na roho ya kifo yeah. and such. Sasa kaniambia unaenda kufanya nini na Mr. Kufa. Anasema yeye juu ya kufa atanenda kufanya nini sikuenda. Yaani sha bai kabisa. Yeah. By the way nilibai deception siku ya kwanza ile nilipojulishwa wameaga. Hiyo kitu iliingia ndani yangu na ikanichanganya na ikakuwa ni hivyo. Sasa ikafika mahali sasa nikupeleka mwili kwa shimo. Kupeleka mwili kwa shimo. Na raziko kabisa? Ya. Yeah. Lakini sasa mwenye sasa tuko naye sasa mimi najua ndo my dad mwenye anazika sasa sijui ni kama mbe tu. Sasa the guy, this is the guy. Ya, sasa ika nimetafutwa, nikuja nirushe mchanga. Sasa simito na microphone. Ah, ah, nilikuwa tu around. Sasa sikuja kuna some friends of mine walikuja wakanishika mkono wakanipeleka ndo nirushe mchanga. Bado nilipofika pale sijui nini kilifanyika nikafaint. So kurusha mchanga. Sijui kani nilirusha actually hiyo sijui. Hiyo sijui hata walio hizi tu. Na nilipo gain consciousness nilipata mazishi imeisha. Mawazi mepandwa. Yaani kila kitu imeisha. Sasa watu walikuwa in groups. Wanaongea ongea. Sana angalia nika ai nikaangalia naangalia kwa msalaba kwa meka jina na look around simoni tena ame disappear 
dadu kwa pia dadu kwa pia sima ya mi kwa ngalia pale kwa msalaba ni jina lake eti yake ya kuzaliwa exactly yes it is ya all of a sudden ni kumanza kuminyesha sende nojua sasa hapa lazima ni elehe ni sibaki niko kwa hile dunia enyo na baba wako peke yako na dunia ukweli kwa kwa ukweli kwa mahali ya meziko ndi kulinyesha ama ni wewe unawana kulinyesha ni napana kulinyesha mpu ilinyesha kila mahali ok Eh na kila mtu saa ka dispas wakaanza waka watu wakaenda kuingia kwa magari. Musa mvu ilponyesha kanyesha very heavily kila mtu akaenda nika nikabaki peke yangu. Alafu zile please alizikwa ni the same place. Nilikuwa nimetanga tukizika my brother. Ile miti miti. In between two trees karibu na ukuta. Lakini sasa sikujipata sasa mimi siko pale kwa friends lakini sasa nijipata hapa kwa Kaburi nikishikilia zile matope ni his cream wamekuzika kwa nini unajakuwa sasa nilikuwa katika ile hali ya kulia na mvu inaonyesha kabisa familia yenu your brother kila mtu alienda simvu inaanza kuonyesha sisi kama wako notice nimebaki hapo i don't know who's the time now <laughs> si mazishi which wish around sana ni yeah. sasa mvu inaanza i don't know sisi kwambie exact time lakini sasa hapa nilikilia nimepiga magoti pale kwa lile kaburi na shikilia hizo mchanga nikisema wanakuzika kwa nini unajakufa kwani unaika mpaka zina yako pale ni unajakufa leo kidogo nikasikia tap on my shoulder and I'm here dear I'm not the one in the there sasa si nikasikia sauti yake sasa mimi ndio nikaamka yule yule mti mhm ni kwa mka by the way the na shindo kwani ulikuwa hapa ni unajanyesha mimi nimeloa sasa macho zimeisha tena sasa zimi nikaacha kulia zini nimeona akaniambia si mimi niko hapo lakini sasa umeika jina yangu hapo lakini si mimi niko hapo sasa kwanza sasa kuongea Leo nganiambia fast nataka uende home ndo sitafutwe. Nataka uende home ndo sitafutwe. Alafu kabla ujenda ningependa uni promise kitu. Mhm nikamwambia nini? Nataka ukuki kuja hapa kila siku. Tuna meet hapa. Kabuli. Mhm. Na nataka uni promise. Ah mm. uh, meeting yetu hautajulisha mtu yote itakuwa tu me between me and you okay nilisema okay dad unaweza sasa <laughs> wakati unapenda mtu hata akisema kitu utampinga utakubali kile kitu wewe unajua wewe umezika hiyo iko kwangu sinikuwa najua umezika sana mbodiel sasa kwa kwa mimi sinikuwa naangalia na namwambia mkundu anakufanana na niambia ino so huyo ni huyo ndiye anafanana yule yule ndiye anafanana huyo sasa si walikuwa identical hata ungeza ku differentiate bana niambia wewe msimi na mimi nikakubali kwa ndio kuni kuja kum visit every day atem sana kwa namtembelea jioni sometimes namtembelea asubuhi na siku anaogopa alafu je haya makaburi huwa hayaangaliwi vizuri sometimes na kuanga bushi una vile unakuwa unaoga kuingia kwa makaburi mimi siku anaogopa unaenda tu yeah unaenda tu na sasa hiyo siku sasa nika nikakubali nikamwambia sawa sitaambia mtu nitakuwa nikikuja kukutembelea kaniambia uwe sasa acha nikusindikize wende nyumbani lakini atakumbia hata hako tuliana na yeye sasa tukapata hata watu wajarele siko tukapata ndoto na prepare sasa ku have lunch uje after baru watu na nyumbani ku have lunch sasa ndo watu wake prepare ku have lunch hata kwa minutes kama sijafika or anything sasa si watu wa kula and all that alafu sasa kaniambia bye mko na yetu wakati watu wanakula eh lakini sasa yako anakula hiyo time yako anakula akaniambia tomorrow remember kaniambia sasa nimeenda lakini kesho kuti that's what i did tulimzika bora hajakutuka ujiulize mbona anike kwa makaburi anasia amezikwa pale unajua sasa hizo azikwa unajua sasa the moment mimi nilijua hajakufa so nilijua hajakufa and that was it sasa kuna vile ungeniambia amezikwa si alizikwa na wageti yeah so nasa nilikuwa deceived alafu mm. nasa ikawa ile pact nilimake ya kuwa nikimvisit na nikaanza kumvisit nilikuwa a daily routine na ilikuwa very friendly visit ninge ningefika na mbii hey, dada mimi ninge pop up from anywhere we walk around the graveyard tunapiga story no i wait a minute are you talking like the reality ama ama ni ndo no si ndo to like realistic kana unamka asubuhi you dress up go nilikuwa na dress sana nikienda nilikuwa fanya job shabe sasa ningeo kishukia gari pale kuna stage nitanga stage ya medi sasa nikishuka na cross barabara na ingia makaburi yeah Naingia eh naingia um, during all that time kuna lady alikuwa anaishi hiyo time kuna bado 
watu walikuwa naishi railway railway ndani kwa railway ya dua kwa me wame wametolewa wote kutolewa baadaye so there was a lady ambaye alikuwa ananiona na Mungu akampa mzigo wa kuwa kiniombea sasa so, alikuwa kiona nikiingia na anajiambia huyu madam akitoka nitamuita niongee lakini hako inaona nikitoka i think she done him blind pia lakini god alikuwa amempea mzigo wa kuniombea nikawa natembea kwa makaburi tunaongea na dad at some, at, at some point ningesikia kiongea na watu dad mhm lakini ndo yanaongea na omisi wa uni ananiambia hata huyu anasema ni point ya great ananiambia hata huyu huwa tuna meet hata huyu tulikuwa na kampukutano usiku eh yeah, really What? even the grave diggers ambao wanafanyanga job huko wangeni ndio na by the way unaongea na nani naambia ah za mimi sisi tuko na dada hapo lakini wa muoni na ananiambia hata wanionaje tena tena ndizo unaongea na nani unajiona ningefika maybe ninge embrace tunge hug Amazon hakiki nani? Jona kwa nani? Like you me hug sana. You should do that. Yes. Si unampata unamwona physically like the way I'm seeing you. It's not like ni naota ama ni illusion it happened. Ni it happened for it's... six whole months. Is on Jesus Christ. Christ. And that secret wasn't to be shared. One one day something happened. I'm just at the moment unafanya the frequent of doing something and alt in a kwanga bit upon that activity. Okay. Say so it was like nina kwanga initiated to something slowly by slowly. Yes, slowly by slowly. Sasa ni kama nilikuwa na kwanga initiated in that world. Ya ghost. Kidogo kidogo. Yaani yani sasa si kujua shida nilitaka kunitumia kivipi lakini ilikuwa ni kama nilikuwa kwa initiation process because the more you do something after you do it every other time every other day it's like stealing wakati umeenda ukapata kitu ukachukua haukushikwa ukaenda ukapata tena ukachukua haukushikwa eventually unakuanga mwizi oh. alafu sasa tuseme na pia ni pengine mfano mwingine pengine wewe ni mtu wa kuomba unaomba unaomba unaenda ukiomba gacho the more the more unaomba unakuwa prayerful person okay. so unakuwa tu initiated in prayers ama wakati unaenda kuiba si unakwanga unakuwa mwizi eventually unakuwa mwizi sasa mimi naona ni kama nilikuwa na kwanga initiated in that kingdom the ghosts ya yeah, darkness bila kujua okay naona sana naona sana nilikuwa nishakuwa deceived mm. kwa sababu Mungu Kristo huwa anakuwa deceived kwa sababu ya ignorance na na nikawa hivyo sasa one day after six months now yes after six months something happened in a church that i used to fellowship na nikawa nikaenda nikamwambia naenda after hii meeting naenda church akaniuza mbele church kufanya nini usiende namwambia bana um i have to go nataka kwenda kwa mama unaweza kuchoka ama ah ah si kuchoka hmm. kuna pastors walikufa sasa nilitaka kwenda kusema hawajakufa juu hata nilikuwa nimekuwa deceived mbango alikufa na hapo amekufa so nda kuambia acha hawajakufa saka ni bigu utaenda tena na wewe mm-hmm. na tukaanza safari go to the church yes na tukaenda wewe sasa ni mtu ambaye haonekani yeah lakini si mimi namuona mzeti onekani wewe ndio utamuona lakini lakini wewe sasa unaona tukaenda na tukafika church sasa tulipofika kwa entrance akaniambia hiki nikamza kwa nini kuna baria kwenye lango na sasa mimi sitengi akaniambia endo useme kinyo nasema but don't take long and make you don't betray me sasa mimi nilipoingia kwa kwa hiyo gate ilikuwa gate ndogo na pia mlango kanisa ilikuwa karibu tuna hiyo gate sasa nilipofika kwa mlango kanisa nikageuka na nikaona eh kweli kuna na very big angel amekava the entire gate mhm umeanza kuwa na malaika sasa mimi sasa nilikuwa na malaika kwa mlango sasa malaika alikuwa anataka sasa <laughs> akaniambia maombi inafanyika the other side nikamwambia bado nimekuja na my dad ndio ujue hata mapaso hajakufa ako hapa nje kuja 
kujumuona. Sasa nikampe story vile kulienda. Mimi sasa nilipotoka nje um sikumpata. <laughs> sasa I think ile demo nilipo share story yake haikufurahi. Mimi <laughs> Ah, mimi nikafika town siku muona nikarudi mbao kwa makaburi siku muona. Sasa nilipoenda home kisha yake asubuhi kama kawa si nimeamka nimeenda kwa makaburi. Lakini nilipofika we nilichokiona nilipata amelala juu hata siku hapo kumuita bila na mjanga na pop up. Amelala juu ya kaburi yake. Uh-huh. Amelala juu hapo amevalia kama mtondoke amevaa helmet amevaa reflector na amevaa boots. And he used ah. to dress very neatly. Sasa, he was meticulous in his dressing. All of a sudden. Hapa mevaji. Sasa ni kamuliza mbono mevaji. Kaungei. Haka pull. Hile helmet nyuma. Halipo ipul nyuma we. Misi ni mwona macho nyaka moto. Red. Hafi kona race. Eh, zina ni mulika. Sasa. Nika. Sasa hizo macho yangu naanza kufunguka niko na guy usi dad. Ati sura sia ke. All of a sudden a voice came from within him. Sie alifungua mdomo. Kisa sauti kitoka tu ndani yake. Akasema you betrayed me. You betrayed me. You are the one who is supposed to be six feet under. All of a sudden mimi nikakuwa nam. My entire body became nam. Ukaganda. Sisi move. Yes. Mm. Alafu sana nimesimama, nimesimama juu on the edge of another grave. Mm. Alafu sana yako hapa. Akaniambia the one who is supposed to be six feet under me. Yes. Aka disappear. Alipo disappear. Like um, yeah, Mrs. Simoni tena lakini nimekuwa na msi hizi move. Sisi fanya anything. So I started crying. Niki scream. Lakini najaribu hata kujaribu ku stretch mkono siwezi. Mguu yangu miguu zangu zimekuwa numb, zimekuwa like ziko paralyzed. Siwezi fanya chochote. All of a sudden, mchanga ilianza kujitoa. Ile kaburi. No, mchanga inajitoa na mimi naanza kusink. Selembe I'm supposed to be the one who is 6 feet under. Kwa hiyo jana za huyu mwingine. Yes, isa kaburi next. So hizo kaburi zinakuwa tu zimefuatana, zimefuatana, zimefuatana. Kaburi kaanza Yes. In real life now. Yes. I'm telling you even the lady ambaye ni alikuwa Mungu amempa mzigo ende ngoja kuniseva. Cuz nilipo scream ali scared nyumba yake ilikuwa tukaribu na hapo. Sasa alikuja. Akanipul. Nilikuwa nimeenda almost half. Na ningekuwa swali the live na grave. I'm telling you see ndoto. No, is it not in your mind? No. Ulimwangu wa giza hakuna kinyewezi fanywa na mapepo. So you there helpless? Yeah, there helpless sinking. I think it's well up. No one is hata your dad says that. Sasa she disappear. Who mtu and do this as? Yeah, alikuwa amepaka kama mtanda. Na sasa ule dia kanichukua alikuja akiomba. Akiomba tu. Akuja akanipole. Akiomba kanipeleka kwake akiomba galiomba i can't even recall for how long she prayed after she prayed akaniambia nirudie bila toba nyuma yake alafu akaanza kunicancel but i don't know siko na nashika chochote lakini naona anaomba alioniombea kabisa akaniombea nyesi tafadhali akamaliza kuomba saa akaanza kuniongelesha akaniambia how dangerous it is kuja kwa makaburi akaniambia 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 but mimi najaribu ananiambia ni what happened siezi siko hiyo at that particular time sivyo nilikuwa bado in a state of shock but ona macho zangu zilikuwa zichanza kufunguka sasa nikakuwa na ile uoga kabisa mpaka naogopa kumpea story of what had happened but eventually nika relax na kanisindikiza hadi kanileta hadi home lakini hatukuwa hii connect tena Alice ni mjeshi ingekuwa ingekuwa vyema angekuja kushuhudia. Yes yes yes. Jonah from there sana niliogopa hadi kwenda kwa makaburi sikuienda tena. From there 
Mi nikakuja home I stayed for a week peacefully bila kutatizwa na lolote wote tena hata hata Saudi Arabia hata hata during hizo visit siko hiyo hata they were very friendly visit because hata ninge visit hakuna vitu tuli nilionanga demonic ndio hata kama alikuwa anaongea na other ghost mimi siko naziona nilikuwa tunamuona tu yeye na whatever tungeongea tulikuwa tuna discuss vitu normal tu angeanuliza kuhusu ndugu zako wako vipi mama yuko aje vitu kama hizo hakuwa yeye tuko yongea anything demonic lakini i think ulimwengu wa giza kuna vitu zilikuwa zinaendelea in my life Yeah. Jinona zimekuwa mbili frequency yeah, of something. Kuna 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 alta inakuanga mm. built. So mm. there was an alta that ilikuisha jengwa pale. Mm. Of which nilikuwa nishakuwa slave kwa hiyo alta to point nilikuwa naenda daily. Mm. Sometimes na ningeenda twice hata jioni hata kukuona giza. Unaumeje ukiwa ukiwa na giza ukitembea kwa makaburi bila kuogopa. Na mm. zikuwa naogopa. Yeah, nilikuwa tu yeah, by the ilikuwa very friendly visit na sikuwa naona hata anything strange. Okay. Na huko yambia mtu yote wala tu. No. No. Hey. Siri bwana, wewe si wewe. Hey, imagine nilinyamaza. Wewe siri wewe. Even <laughs> your husband, even your brother, even your sister somebody. No, hakujua. Hata 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 sometimes tungeenda nisha nani shuke mimi benge kenda kuona mtu hosi. Lingeta kuiuliza. I'm telling you ni keep secret. So, so hiyo one, week, in the one week after. Of, one week after um mamangu yes. akapata unabi from somebody akakuja home akamwambia kuna mtoto wako mmoja tunafaa tumtenganishe na mapepo. Sasa madhe akatuita home. Mimi sasa nilipoenda kujaribu kuongea nimenyongwa. Mi hands zilikuwa zinatoka from nowhere hands without body zinanichoka so sikusema so madam akasema ai maybe you na bill kosa alikosa jo kila mtu akoulizwa unaendelea hakuna mmoja alisema chochote sasa situkaenda another second time nabia akuja tena home kwa madam bali mhm tukaitwa home the same thing happened i was unable to share nilichokio na ukitoka huko urudi na hapa akili ikufikirii usiyo make call something unajua hiyo time hadi contact zilikuwa zina disappear kwa simu hata contact za watumishi wa Mungu nilikuwa najaribu kuzitafuta hauzioni na ziko wewe unapata simu unataka uje nifika mahali yes una need help do not after that tote wacha wacha tuache kuruka yes, nisiruke yes, yes. after mara pili the that time na ukim wakati alipletwa na bima ya tatu waka decide itabidi waombe Mungu aoneshe ni nani mm. so watashikana wakaomba na Mungu kwa revealia ni nani na ilikuwa mimi wakafanya maombi ya prayer and fasting hadi Mungu akaoneshe ni nani wakafanya maombi sasa ni for 14 days ama ni for how many days mm. and they came hapa mhm na mimi nishtukianga watu wanakuja wana mwaga na inti wa lolova Wewe sasa wewe kwa mimi nilisha na so wakuja but hawakuuliza chochote wote sasa wakati wanaomba wakiwa na ufunuo wanaombea nini inaweza kuwa rais lakini hawakuniuliza so aliomba wakakuja wakatakasa rooms zote and all that after wamomba wakaomba mimi nikawapikia na wakaenda lakini hiyo siku ilikuwa ni kama wamefungua Pandora's box what hiyo sasa nilianza kutembelewa na demons. Hiyo nilisikia shake up. Unasikia kama earthquake kimgurumo kilikujanga. Si kama ki wind, si kama nini, very strong wind. Ilikuwa around midnight. Is physical in your mind now? No. Hiyo ni physical. Sijelala. Na wengine wenye mko nao. Sinakwambia sasa ilikuja ilikuwa kama upepo. Mimi nikasikia na kutemeka. Mimi hiyo time sikuwa na lala mapema. Sasa nikasikia uoga haieleweki. All of us are in the two bedroom. Mimi niliona ukuta ime separate. Vitu zinaingia kama moto. Si kishuka chini ni mtu, lakini wamevaa they are all covered in black. Lakini zinaingia kama moto, sometimes kama cubeb. Zimeji position in the entire room. What? Yes. The only, thing, the only thing nilikuwa na ni mikono they had very long nails very long nails ziko na colored nails lakini sasa hauni also <laughs> because the zilikuwa zimechikava sasa nikachambia kai isn't your ghost 
sasa zikaanza kuniambia unje sasa mwana zina okay voices zao ziko kind of distorted unaona vile voice hiyo inakuanga imefichwa sasa hata sikiongea sikilia lakini zinakwambia zimetumwa na ule sasa wakinikuza ule ni nani ni kichunguli ndio sasa huko nime separate naona nyinyi nikaona sasa my dad ni mwatuma yule ana moyo mwingine sasa ama ada wengine mgani ndio mgani sasa si wewe tu ni wewe ni wewe fake one the demon yeah yeye hapo ingia ndani lakini alikuwa nje wamemtuma anatuma sasa hizi yes zile kwa zinani tocha zina cheka sasa sijaribu kuni hook mimi najaribu kuomba kimoyo moyo lakini zina cheka tu any time najaribu kuomba kwa sababu the moment ule lebe aliniombea naanza nirudia bila toba and all that na nika come back to my senses sasa nikaanza tu kuwa ninaomba lakini sasa nilikuwa naomba zina cheka ilikuwa ni kama kunitoment unaona sasa ile zina cheka alafu sasa kuna moja unaona imepanda juu ya kitanda nyingine kwa hiko na nyingine hapa zote zina cheka alafu zina cheka na pata mimi sasa niko hapo hiyo siku ya kwanza zikinitokea hiyo siku ya kwanza zikinitokea nilikuwa solo kwa hiyo room na hiyo siku tu ndio nilikuwa nimeombewa. Unimagine siku ndio niliwaombewa ndio demons zilikuja. Hmm. After wamefanya maombi. Na from there ilikuwa torture ya 6 whole years. Nilikuwa 6 years. Yes. So every month ile ya kuficha ilikuwa an year. Ile ile ingine ilikuwa very friendly visit ya makaburi. Si kwa ipata any hmm. torture or anything. Hmm. But the mistake I did, I shared. Oh. I shared na this demon akakasirika. Sasa na sasa zilikuja zikiwa mingi. Ndio tajio juu. Yes. Six years. Na from there na sasa from there sasa kishake asubuhi kila kitu kwa normal nimeamka nikitayarisha nenda job. Mzee anaanza kuipata ini challenge. Sasa ilikuwa tu issue kitanamka sasa hapa ningemwona na kuja. Lakini kabla tukutane alikuwa na disappear. Mimi ndamuona na nianze kusmile. Haya kuisha kabisa bado uko attached to na hiyo. Eh, unaona sasa ndamuona. Alafu sasa the moment ako karibu kukufikia ana disappear. Mimi naisha nguvu. Hata ningeangua kwa barabara. Ilikuwa that serious. Yes, hata ningeangua kwa barabara ningesikia something like zunguzungu. Hata ningeanguka. Nilikuwa nakuwa confused kabisa. Sometimes angekuja anze ku knock dirisha ya jikoni. Anakwambia mcounting for for breakfast mostly ilikuwa breakfast count me for breakfast alafu sana kwa nilikuwa napenda kupika pancake na alikuwa anapenda sana sasa angeniambia count ah si nile kukutorment atakwambia hivyo alafu adisappear sasa sana ko confuse nilikuwa nika hadi hadi had maji kwa ndoo una soak nguo instead ya kwenda kufua nguo unapanda ni kichwa wake yani ilikuwa that serious sasa nikajiambia now what i do that koroga tombstone kwa ile kaburi ndio sikuwa kito in my spirit siku anajua life inakuwa na spiritual ati kaburi kikorogewa hata toka sasa nili tafuta fundi nika koroga gravesite hata sikuenda nilimwambilia mahali kwa sababu nilikuwa na uoga mimi hata singeenda kwa makaburi nikamwambilia mahali kaburi iko sasa mali tuna tuna ni mali pano zangu wa terrasos tukaenda tukamwona naye lakini hizo vitu zingine nikamwambilia mahali kaburi iko bila nataka itengenezwe nikamwambia kuna kaburi ukipita hii kuna nyingine kwa hapo nataka kutengeneza hivi wewe niambie bila nataka kumfundikia ndani mhm ndio asitoke sasa si fundi akaenda akatengeneza mimi nikamwambia kisha wewe piga picha wewe kuja unilete mimi hata sasa kuona mimi nataka unilete tu picha ana nilimpe nilimlipa pesa yote cash la siku involve mama yangu siku involve mtu zangu nilifanya tu peke yangu nile na guide drop pesa na nikaenda nika korog nika kalipa fundi akafanya shughuli we sasa nilikuwa nafikiria ati itakuwa tu ati kikabodi sorogeo hata imesha hata kuja lakini ilikuwa something it gonna happen on a daily basis almost on a daily basis halafu on top of demons na kutembelea kila usiku sababu zikuwa nakuja at around 12 midnight zina spend like 4 hours halafu ndio zinaenda almost zinatoka around 4 to 5 ndemoni siku kwa tu and sometimes na ku hook hata ngenawa nilikuwa na alama all over nilikuwa na alama jinona zilikuwa hadi zina nigwara sasa mimi nilikuwa na resist sika fika mahali sasa nilikuwa naeka jinona nikaanza kuomba na nyongwa sasa nilikuwa naeka bible hapa naeka ingine kwa mgongo na nafunga kamba 
Sasa ngikuja kuni hook ndio kuja na hizi vitu zinakaa sikolia kukata nyasi. Zinakuja kuni hook. Yes. Sasa ngine kuja kuni hook ikiguza bible hiyo hook hiyo sikole na shika moto. Unaanza kisaa zikiwa na moto zilikuwa zinatoroka. Uko peke yako sio kwa nyumba. No. Siko peke yangu. But you know my husband. Unajua you can share a room with somebody but you don't share the same pain. Hata sometimes wakati demons zimekuja akiwa kuna wakati anaona kama nimechizi juu ya zioni lakini anaona niko na alama niko na max unagwaru yes anaona mpaka ma fingerprints connect tunaona sasa mbibo amejaribu kunichoka lakini sasa Mungu ali alinihifadhi all that time Six years yes actually nilipata afu bado nilikuwa napatanga spiritual no, not spiritual nilikuwa napatanga health setbacks ndio nilianza kupata magonjwa zile wiki juu wakati wa kwanza ilikuwa sasa nilianguka kwa nyumba nikagongwa kichwa na nikakuwa unconscious na before nianguke nilikuwa nimeota nikaota tukio kwa judgment day na nikajiona niko sasa nikumshukuru mkono na malaika ninaanza kuliza malaika sasa hawa walikuwa watumishi wa Mungu mbona hawana crown nilikuwa na watu watu sasa wako kwa tuni ilikuwa sasa siku ya kiama so watu vile watu walio hai watu walio kufuatafuliwa kwanza alafu wanapewa crown na kulikuwa na crown aina tofauti unapata mtu alikuwa mtumishi wa Mungu hana crown mwingine amesononeka kwa kaburi yake hana chochote sasa so, nauliza malaika mbona huyu ni alikuwa mtumishi wa Mungu mbona kwa hivi sasa so, ilikuwa kwa ndoto sasa so, malaika ananiambia unaona hawa walikuwa wanatumia jina langu vibaya walikuwa wanajitafutia tu sifa hivyo hivyo mtu mwenye haungefikiria nikaza kuona maybe watu wenye haungefikiria wako wamewakoka walikuwa wanafanya vitu huko napata wako na crown lakini maybe kuna yale mambo aliyafanya akafurahisha Mungu napata wako na crown hata zaidi ya tatu kidogo kidogo ikafika mali tukafika kwa judgment sasa tutaanza kuitwa sasa ni ndoto ni ndoto bado okay. sasa nilipofikiwa nikaitwa kwa jina nikaambia have to go back you are not yet done Vitini eh, have to go back you not it done lakini ni kwa ndoto. Sasa nilipoambiwa hivyo nikagurumuka nikapata ni ndoto. Sasa asubuhi mimi nikaishia ndoto na mayazi na yeye ni moto hivi. Yeye akaniambia unataka tuto zingine strange. Mzi, mzi. Kuna vyenye tu zinaweza kwenye mpaka umuoke. Eh, that your husband is strong. Not just from before since I was a young girl I used to dream a lot. Na every time ninge dream lazima inge come to pass. Ah, lakini sana ni ile siku wanajua the power in dreams. Sasa hiyo ndoto around samoja na nusu siniliota usiku na asubuhi nikaishia lakini I didn't pray about it or anything but around samoja na nusu mimi nilianguka. Ukiwa kwenye mtoto wako. Nili ah tulikuwa na nilikuwa na mtoto wa 8 months. Sasa nilikuwa na prepare nipeleke like since mwenye alikuwa anamwangalia hapo. Ilikuwa na mande alafu sasa mwenye alikuwa vile mtu pe mtu rusa on a Sunday. So then when I prepare at least me in the weekend yo ni the job but i'm telling you niliangu na nikakuwa unconscious nikakuwa unconscious for nine hours sasa huo huo kijana mwana mwingi hivi alikuwa mdogo tena alikuwa i think 3 years alikuwa nasari sasa yeye ndiye alitoka shule sasa ndiye alikuja akapata simu inalia babake alikuwa anapiga ndaka receive akasema hey, nimefika Aliju, alikuwa anashukisho pale chini ilikuwa inabidi umwende sasa yeye alikuja akapata simu inalia aka receive mbaki alikuwa anapiga kwa kapo mama amelala hapa chini na muita haongei sasa nilikuwa unconscious nilikuwa nimegongwa kichwa sasa mbio mbio hosi nikapeleka hosi nikafanywa city scan alafu your time akukua na <coughs> mashini za MRI na kuru ilikuwa tension sasa nilifanya CT scan but katumo Nairobi aga kan ndio isomwe lakini walikuwa na suggest nifanywe MRI ndio join injury kwa api tunaona nilikuwa unconscious ni hapo huko ICU mm. and um ikawa niko na membranes zilikuwa zina bleed alafu sasa kuna arteries bado zilikuwa kuna membranes between the brain and the Ile skull ya yes mm. unasikia sasa kumbe kulingana na ulimwangu wa giza nilikuwa nikufa. Sasa naona nilikuwa nimeota nikiwa kwa judgment throne lakini saa God akasema sijamaliza kazi yangu. So was to die in that fall. So ume, umeota before daybreak mm-hmm. at daybreak ndio ume collapse. Yes. And you're there nine hours. 
Yes, 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 it nine hours in the gain consciousness. It's only the possible to be found conscious. Sunny will come and collect about the dream after me. Umiamka. I wakati ndiyo mkanga ilikuwa three months later. Na nika kuwa co process a treatment and boil kuwa so tedious because it went on for a year, almost na seven months. Kila nine hours spread to three months. You don't go to co flow. Okay. You don't go co flow. So sa ni go co flow zamu trapo liliapi ya kalala. Hakuna hata mtu wako help. Unafuna una kama sasa vile hapa vile pako sasa vile. Unaona sasa mtu hata hata joni hapa yeah. hata kuja kuna okay or anything. Yeah. So unaona sasa nikakuwa katika hali hii ilikuwa ugonjwa ya kwanza atakia kwanza. So it was to die. Yaani ule angel mwenye ana sing death alikuwa ashakuja kusend death yangu. But unaona sasa mimi bwa kati wangu uko umefika. Unaona sasa nilipopelewa kwa judgment. Malaika ni have to body. go back. Mm. Yes. Um treatment ilikuwa ni fanywa to open surgery but thank god ilifika mahali pesa hakuna mzee amechoka unajua ile mwanadamu uchoka unaona ikifika ile siku ya clinic yako imefika sometimes hata hakuna mazungumzo hakuna pesa ya kwenda hospitali unajua ukienda hospitali lazima ufanywe mri lazima utandikiwe madawa alafu dawa zenyewe ni intravenous za kujaribu ku neutralize your clot jukulikuwa na clot ambayo ilikuwa haishi hata after treatment sasa siku moja ilikafika mahali nikapiga tu magoti nikamwambia Mungu kiu liniokoa ile siku nilianguka sikukufa ninaomba uniponi yeah. unaona niliomba a very painful prayer mm-hmm. na do you know after prayer jo nilikuwa nasikia kizunguzungu singetembea kwa jua singefanya anything singeenda kwa moto singeenda jikoni jo nilikuwa nasikia kizunguzungu naanguka i'm telling you your prayer Godalin ilikuwa ni kama amekufanyia tu surgery. Jonona wiki ya tarehe kushana pesa zikapatikana na nikaenda hosi kufanywa picha wakashangaa. Hakuna clot. You okay? <laughs> What did you do? Nothing. Because nilikuwa ni fanywa pen surgery. Ilikuwa true. Unajua sasa ugonjwa wa dim una dai ponyagu na madawa. No, I'm getting you now. Em um, unaona ugonjwa wa kipepo mm. haiponyagu hata na dawa. Sasa ikawa shida ikaisha na ikaisha na ikaisha na ikaisha. Like it was out of prayers. Yes. Sikodi mkubwa. From there she does it zilisha. Ah. Nilikuwa napata attack every year. Kuna mwaka siku ipata health issue. Na ni ugonjwa unashangaa. Inakuja ina kudrain financially. Na ina attack serious. Mm-hmm. Kama nilipata ngo na ulcers ambazo zilikuwa nafanya nitapike damu. Sikuwa na kula chochote. Nilikuwa na kula tu veggies na zikuwa very shallow cooked na zisikuwa na mafuta na sitakula anything else mimi ningekula kwa mtu hata ningeenda kwetu home singekula kuziko tuna tuchakula tu hapo sana nilikuwa na buy hizo hizo veggies ni dinizi stream tu nikula nilikuwa for how long sasa hiyo ilinisumbua for a while hiyo ilienda hiyo ilienda for a long time hiyo ilienda until 2019 hiyo shida ulcers lakini in between bado unapata challenges zingine mm. za magonjwa mm. now what about your husband ye ha kusumbuliwa na hiyo story yote for him hiyo time hiyo time hakuwa ameokoka alafu sasa bado alikuwa ana ana tei alikuwa anabugia sasa hata wakati mwingi alikuwa anafikiria na lose my mind wakati bibi redimu zingekuja akiwa asiko hata do you know hata kuna zinyata zilikuwa zimepanda mimi maybe niko kwa flow unaona sasa ile unajaribu ku defend ukijaribu ku avoid demons yako pale lakini hazioni hata pengine ziko zikuna mbili kwa kitanda zimesimama lakini hazioni hazina haja na yeye guy kwa ni kunenda haja guy aziko yeye hata muguza hata aziko yenda kwa rumi ya watu hii na hakuwa anaona kauna chizi alikuwa afikia na, na lose it lakini unje sasa mtu kama okay unje kuna suru unaweza mpe mtu na akuwe maybe hana ana ufunuo ana ufunuo ndani yeah. yake hata elewa yeah. alafu sasa unashindwa huwa kwa normal size tunajio usiku ndio kwa hivi zingine tena yeah na watoto sasa ilikuwa imefika mahali tu wakati mmoja akaniambia unajua sasa hii shida yako imekuwa too much ile bill imekupeleka queen eh hey, nikamwambia yeah, sasa mimi ningekuja hapa actually nilikuwa nimehepanga home set nili niliolewa ile nyingine eh sasa nili nilimwambia by the way ningekuja hapa siku <coughs> Sasa, hey, some, some 
pole nini unajua sana ile mtazama something kwa sababu ya kuchoka alafu sio je madam uchoka lakini Mungu aitoka kina watu wake amina na watoto nao hawaku hawaku kwa part of their packs i'm telling you know hiyo time nilikuwa natembea kwa makaburi nilikuwa na expectant i'm telling you nile siku ile nilenda kujifungua hiyo ghost ilikuja na sasa mtoto wangu nilikuwa ni mnema after my dad na alipoingilia kwa dirisha namka nilikuwa anga annex aliingia kwa dirisha the ghost now sasa nimetoka tu le board hata sijamaliza 5 minutes sasa vile umeshi ume, hata umebebe ume mtoto sasa umefika hapo nasa akakupea mtoto sasa do at least to rest the ghost entered through the window na kaniambia you know what nimejikujia unajua sasa nimejikujia huyo guy unajua simtron okay yes nimejikujia sasa mimi si nime grab mtoto nimekimbia sasa una run from the maternity sawa sasa ah sasa ni shelter kwa room niko kwa private room sasa nikanakimbia kwa general sasa ward uje sasa iko na watu wengi mimi nimeenda kwa bed flani bed nilipata kulikuwa na mama alikuwa analia yeye alikuwa amejifungua mtoto mtoto sasa akasema oh nilikuwa nimeiba mtoto wake sasa naenda kunyang'anya mtoto na unasome kwa ni kunaenda gaji dunia sasa manas na wanafikiria niko na postpartum depression so kanza sasa kuna watu wanashika ngono ka depression kwa sababu ile labor pain sasa ni tango postpartum depression sasa wanafikiria ni yule nisumbua ndio maana nimekimbia nimetoka kwa room yangu mimi na jaribu kuelezea hapana kumende vile hivi lakini hauelewi sasa eventually wakanidunga na wakadunga mama sasa mimi nashindwa dungo na mimi sina shida mimi sina stress <laughs> sasa wali swali ni force wakarudisha kwa room yangu na wewe unajua kuna shida mimi najua nina hepa kwa sababu ya ghost lakini thank god hai kurudi tena mm-hmm. sasa nilirudi na mimi sasa ni request discharge sasa haraka haraka eh si kutaka kukaa hosi mm-hmm. mtoto tumita tu you are late dad ama nilikuwa na challenge mm-hmm. but i don't know tulimuita tu okay jona na shida tai iko ya babangu juu hata hata just after nimepata ufunuo ya kwamba ile ilikuwa ghost sasa nilikuwa najua babangu kulingana ile relationship tulikuwa nao na yeye hizi ni pesa hosi sijui nilikuja nilikuwa sasa hapo ninaelewa hizi ni demons a good joke back why would you think a ghost would just use your father's impersonate your father na ikwendi na kusumbua wewe mwenyewe ulikuwa unapenda hivyo dad unajua sasa nilikwambia kuna deception wakati umekuwa deceived Alafu sana wewe unonwe ile deception unaion unaona Alafu sasa the moment umekuwa manipulated Alafu sasa kuumesha build altar pale kwa ile manipulation so you believe in it mm. next na take advantage Una ile process nilikuwa nikienda kwa makaburi tunatembea tunatembea si nikwambia ilikuwa ni kama unainitiwa yeah, to something yeah. so katika ulimwengu wa giza kuna mambo yalikuwa yanaendelea ambayo sasa mimi siezi elewa sasa maybe kuna vitu zilikuwa zinaelewa zinaendelea na maybe kuna kile ambacho tena nataka kufanya na mimi mm-hmm. and that's why hata wakati kaburi ilishindwa kunimeza mm-hmm. bado demons ziliendelea kunifuata mm-hmm. na mm-hmm. bado walitaka kuniua papa sio ilikuwa kuniua mm-hmm. jana sasa kaburi ingenimeza si ningezi kuwa mm-hmm. nikiwa hai mm-hmm. wote wale wengeishi kutafuta mm-hmm. um alafu sasa wakati hata demons zili hizi magonjo nilikuwa naletoa zilikuwa ugonjwa serious of which una ibonjo ina ina kushika haji na kupata haji mm. okay at this age unapata ugonjo kama hii ah, i love all of us sudden in addition so today kwa haji um nitokea na moja moja ama iende no so uh ugonjo ziliendelea nikapata a lot of health setback hata ikafika mahali mtoto wangu pia kaataki the first born hiyo time alikuwa na 8 years tulikuwa tumeenda in a family function kwa kwa poison. Na kwa poison ile poison literally to point alikuwa but the time Trump peleka hospital well, alisema ni food poisoning. Lakini sasa mimi at least nimesoma kidogo about medicine. Ninajua poison na food poisoning. Jeleza kutokea bans hadi kwa kuanzia kwa lips, kwa limi alafu sasa akaanza kutoa chopi na damu iko na clot ni kama inakanya manyama sasa tuli tulipolazwa tuli hali yake ilikuwa endelea ku deteriorate akaanza kukuwa pale na kwa grey ilikuwa 2015 eh 
Eh, mimi nikaambia baba yake hapana. This is serious. Sasa nikaapo kupiga pediatrician wake. Tulikuwa nyandaro. Sasa tulikuwa nyangulu PGT. Tumeadmit you but hali yake endelea kukuwa mbaya. Mimi nika nikapiga daktari nikamwambia daktari mtoto wako hivi na hivi na hivi na hivi na hivi. Akaniambia hiyo hiyo sense is a poison. Poison ni nikamwambia hapa wana treat like food poison. Lakini ilikuwa functional ilikuwa na watu wengi na yeye tu amekuwa affected. Sasa akaniambia I don't know how mtafika hapa. But nimependa orders. So unajua Evans. Mm. Nimependa order <coughs> Evans. Mfike huko mtatendio. Siji mtafly ama mtafanya nini because that boy's life is in danger. Ju kama imefika mali ana convulse because yake shetan pale, ako dehydrated. Yaani ameendesha yake. Nakula tu na mtibu tu for the poison. Asa ile alisha mtibu na wakati wacha kwa dis miku siku 3 utoko kwa ilikuwa around 10. Lakini tu I don't know siji kama tulikujanga hapa na 30 minutes lakini tukafika na tukakuwa attended to akalazo akalazo for 21 days ilikuwa serious nikapona alikuwa almost ame lose mobility but you time akio hosi hapo ndio i don't know i came back yani sasa hapo ndio nilianza sasa kujielewa nikaanza sasa hiyo time nilikuwa so prayerful mimi mwenyewe hiyo particular time nilikuwa expectant bado alafu sasa nilikuwa na pregnancy nilikuwa complicated bado Yaani ilikuwa tu una damu damu yako iko at level 6 uko na low amniotic fluid of which una need kuongeza hiyo maji na ilikuwa tu safari lakini sasa Mungu alinipea nguvu na nikaanza kukaa na mtoto hosi mm-hmm. lakini sasa hiyo time nilikuwa ninaomba sana mm-hmm. sana na God akanipea ufunuo mambo mingi sana sana nikakuwa so prayerful nikio hosi mm-hmm. Na nikamwambia Mungu atastake ku asifanye as, as, nijue ni nani alimfanyie hivi as long as atamponya. Na ilipotoka hosi sana nikaanza kwenda hata prayer center. Sasa nilikuwa naomba God anipe rest. Lakini kana nikio hosi mimi sikuitembelewa na ghost. Sikuitembelewa na demon. For those 21 days. Lakini hata sikuikubali any relative au karibia mtoto. Hata ningeleta fruits nilikuwa nazika kwa trash. Hata naweza kuona shanga. Unazitupa kwa nini? Nikamwambia mkitaka simchi Jumu sema ajiki mwenye alimwekea poison. Alikuwa tu mtu close. Alikuwa me purpose kumua, si atadunga hata hiyo dawa kwa matunda. So sasa so, hiyo hiyo mambo ya ya, 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 ya ghost ni your dad. Eh udiwe ongea na hiyo mambo your brothers. Ama hata bado ni story sasa zidi tatizo. Uh, actually my mama was scared from mali kwa function tu. Akaenda akaambiwa kuna mtoto wako anatembea kwa makaburi. Aliambiwa na certain bishop. Lakini mimi siko hiyo open up na yeye. Your siblings? Um my siblings they think I'm a very strong person. Mm-hmm. Actually even today even to contain me like nzeka sana mm-hmm. and I was wondering why they not checking on me. I need them. Lakini sasa wakati mtu ana shida ni mimi na kimbilia akiniambia search my eh I'm mm-hmm. going through this. So Um so my siblings wana nichukulia nga very strong hata kuna wakati nilikuwa nchaka depression sana you know all that time everything nilikuwa nda through I used to write it down mm-hmm. sana nilikuwa meandika scripts and scripts mm-hmm. so one day nilitaka at least is vitu zikuwe published at least sasa mimi nikaanza kuzienda through but nikaenda through it was like I was relieving every challenge sana ka kunjeka break down nika nika gonjeka depression mm. clinical depression of which I really had sana alafu hata wakati tunaenda kushare nao wanambi hey by the way nika gonjeka depression na sana hebu upate depression kuna watu juu na wakati nilikuwa napitia mambo yale bado nilikuwa na look strong because mm. i think god alikuwa amenipa inner strength me yeah, the all through um, i was asked to ask you um, am i going to depression even before your dad died no. and you could connect all through that i don't you know you were stressed up in a way Um I don't know. Okay, ilikuwa tu ile denial. Unajua kwa tumi deny kitu. So nanza vile watu wanambia ngo maybe umeenda uko testiwa uko HIV positive, maembe uko positive, alafu unakuwa in denial. Mm. Siku nota anakuanga hivyo. Mm. Yaani kukuwa in denial, yaani haukubali. Mimi hiyo kinyili hati ni kutokubali. Mm. Na sisi sikujua watu wa kufi. Okay. I knew people. Eh, na na shetani akachukua opportunity sasa. Akachukua opportunity. Mm. Na mimi totanya nilienda through ilikuwa terrible. To a point mm-hmm. ata singe attend burial. Ninge attend burial yote nilikuwa nanga ile portrait ni ya my dad. Shoot. Ile coffee ni ya my dad alizikwa mm-hmm. nayo. So ilikuwa ilikuwa ni torture. Mm-hmm. 
and the one ambao nili attend mpaka nikasema stay attend baro ilikuwa a certain young guy alikuwa amekufa through drug overdose i didn't know him i knew the sister says nilikuwa nimeenda kwa company dadake misa nilipofika masi kaanza juu the father ndiye alikuwa na officiate your masi ilikuwa kuiga tu mimi nakwambia nilianza kulia nenda kulalia sanduku pale nikilia jiona portrait ni ya my dad na naishika nara gulalia kofi ni pale sasa father akasema let her cry you know so the family thought i was the girlfriend to the young boy he was in second year so nilikuwa na katrika 3 years So mama akakuja mama kijana akakuja akaniembrace akaniambia we hata kama huko kilito nyumbani usijali i'm here i'm going to raise the son eh yeah. e, akaniembrace akaza kuniambia hata kama kijana akuku introduce ama bichi zake kuna changa eh kuna ilikuwa msecret baje alikuwa mpaka na mdoi na jay tu sasa mimi nikashika mkono na the mother niko mimi niko dunia nyingine niko dunia nyingine sasa Nime, nimeenda pale mama akanipeleka kwa chenche ya familia sasa nikiwa pale ndio nikaanza back to reality we nilikanyaga kubwa kubwa nikienda hata kongoja si kongoja ta bari olishe jipi even the sister was mad at me ai niko all this time eh, eh, sasa nili have kumtafuta after wa meseto and everything nikampa story mm. but she understood Yeah, quite sad. So it reached a point nikawa send barrel. Hata singetaka kuona coffin mali. Hata ningepitia mali pana 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 tengenezo coffin singe angalia. Ningejo please fly ndo kwa coffin tafika nifunge macho. Ama uko na uko ndani ya gari unaona gari imebeba coffin ama nione has ilikuwa torture for me. Sasa siko nataka kuona anything like that. Longest time ukufikiria maybe ongea na ministers. Ningomia that particular time nilikuwa nakuwa choked. Alafu sana ningesema nikutafuta contact ya any minister or any servant of God haupati. Zote zilikuwa ni kama ziko erased ama macho zako ziko blinded. Si eti contact azikuwa, zilikuwa. But tena I make sure ame ku disconnect na any destiny help. Ndio mm-hmm. usisaidike. Mm-hmm. Even my friends, do you know they like they kind of detached away from me. Hakuna mwenye alikuwa atanatafuta. Nilikuwa kind of alone. Na ile ile ndoto ya kwanza yenye niliota niko pembeni mm-hmm. niko peke yangu nalia peke yangu and that's what happened i was alone i dealt with my problems alone mm-hmm. and when my son was poisoned i love sanikio hiyo hosindo nikaanza kuomba sana sana nikambia god i need rest wakati mtu alitoka nikapanga niende present mimi nikaenda present nikaanza saa kuenda frequent nikakuwa na ile frequency ya kutembelea mm-hmm na kuwa nafasi naambia god i need rest i'm coming back to you unaile unasema anga like the prodigal son ali aliyetanga bomba ya babake kwa sababu ya 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 ile ni ndasema ni ignorance jo kata alishia mali yake alikuwa ignorant lakini ilifika mali aka come back to his senses so mimi nikamwambia god i'm coming back to my senses i'm coming back to my roots i know you are my father i know you can save me from this na sasa tisikuwa nikiomba alafu every time hizi miaka za nyuma nilikuwa naomba i could hear voices at the back of my head ziki problem ah you are the one who did this if you didn't do this haungekuwa hapa so unaona sasa ile ingekuwa katika ile hali ya kujilaumu pia mimi mwenyewe hadi unaacha kuomba the moment unaomba alafu unasikia voices at the back of your head zikikwambia it's your fault it's your fault hata ile mombi tunatia hapo so these spirits zilikuwa zimepapa siku kumaliza yeah i have known sasa unaona sasa kila saa ukianza kuomba zina zinaanza kukuongelesha unasikia sauti kukujibu kukujibu in your head yeah. yeah you're the one who entered in this hole yeah. and on you sasa ilifika mahali nika build wall unaona uka retreat after the moment uko sad uko lonely unaona na two mountains mbele yako i love sasa since these voices zinakwambia it's your fault pia mimi nika kubali nikasema surely ana nikaanza ku look back you know it's my fault if i accepted if i didn't uh, agree to be deceived singekuwa hapa ikiwa singetembea kwa makaburi ni singekuwa hapa ikiwa singekuwa nikaanza so mwanza kujilaumu sasa mimi mwenyewe pia nika sana nika retreat nika build wall na nika kuwa nika jilock kwa shida zangu sasa ikiwa shida zangu ni zangu ndio zinakupea hazihusu mtu mm-hmm. only myself can jitoa from here and my god beautiful tell me understand we might wish to conclude but now how are you today today are you relieved are you free are you really free mm, sir hapo nilikuwa nikikwambia kuhusu presenter so i went and did a, 
four days first but siku kwanza ilikuwa ku reflect sana nilikuwa napanga ndaomba nda first first gani so i did a three days first siku kwanza sikufanya chochote nilikuwa na 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 jaribu tu ku look back at my life ni wapi nilipotezea hatua and uh, your time nika nikaomba maombi very painful nikambia god nikambia god kama vile ambapo manompotive i leave you come back to his senses i'm coming back to my senses and i'm coming back to you deliver me from fear deliver me from demons then nikakuwa tu na ile hali ya kuvunjika sana mbele za Mungu for three days yes i really prayed and prayed and prayed and after i came back that uh, i came back on a friday your night kama kawaida nika prepare sinikwambia demons ilikuwa zinakuja around midnight sinikaeka bible kama kawaida mbele na nyuma kumbe nikasahau kufunga kamba so nilikuwa nimetaki in t-shirt so ya mbele ikaanguka sasa ya mbele ilipoanguka na hiyo time yote siko nasoma bible nilikuwa naiweka tu lakini siko nasoma na ilijifungua kitabu ya Psalms Psalms 23 24 25 26 and 27 so i started reading macho zangu zikakuwa glued kwa Psalms 23 the lord is my shepherd i shall not be in want asa afsa nikuwa na dwell sana kwa verse 4 though i walk under the shadow of the valley of death i shall fear no evil sasa nilikuwa nina repeat do you know nika repeat over and over nikiangalia anga sana demons are not coming as you could and actually i i prayed the scripture like i don't know for how many hours nikiwa tu pale nime kneel unazingoja nilikuwa nime sweat hata babu yenyewe ilikuwa no that time ati raruka ju machozi plus i don't know ni jasho ama ni machozi ju ilikuwa imeloa ju nili soma repeatedly na soma different chapters sa god akani proof no ilikuwa ni kama ni encounter kumbe shetani hapo pagi maombi na hapo pagi neno la Mungu because wakati ninaendelea kusoma na soma Psalms 121 na soma Psalms 91 yani ili unasoma prayerfully and the demons never showed up again so ilikuwa ni kama self deliverance mm. after hapo demons hazikuwa issue up sasa nikasema e time yenye demons nimekuwa zikikuja they convert kwa time yangu na god nikakuwa sana the routine routine maombi na kusoma word ikakuwa hivyo nika join church i became very prayerful na nikakuwa a, a very <coughs> good bible reader of which sana nikajitengia time between 12 na 3 ni masa ya kusoma ya between mali walikuwa nakujia yes and nikakuwa <coughs> true ni kwa true awake mm-hmm. do you come develop mpaka insomnia mm-hmm. juzi lali mm-hmm. unaweza unakuwa na miaka ya torment mm-hmm. So magonjwa na sasa ikaenda. Magonjwa ikaenda. Hmm. Magonjwa iliendelea kuja. I was delivered from demons but I wasn't made whole because I need nilikuwa na need spiritual authority. Na wewe. Aje sokuni una need words the prophet hmm. ama za a person ambaye yako above the new at least a bombe and all that. Do you know niliendelea kupata magonjwa? Mimi niliendelea kuna time nataka karibu ni paralyze. Nilipata nga shida ya <laughs> disk mm. nikapata disk bulge zikahaniate zikaguza nerves na nikakuwa ni kama na lose my mobility that happened in 2019 na ilinizumbua for three whole years on top of it nikakuwa na arthritis unaimagine at my age mpata arthritis alafu zime affect vertebrae the spine na the bones mm, of the spine alafu sasa zilikuwa so painful at the same time nikashikwa na ovarian cyst yani unapata ugonjwa kali kali <laughs> na zinakuwa mm. at the same time this is in some for almost 3 years but that this time now niko strong spiritually hata kama sasa ugonjwa zilikuwa zinani attack sasa kiroho nilikuwa strong mm. na nilikuwa naweza ku fight na nilikuwa sana na GD Clay tu mambo mazuri mm-hmm. and eventually Come I got better mm. I got healed <laughs> I got delivered and uh, I, w- I went to be prayed for nika join nikaenda nika nikaanza delivery ah, deliverance prayers na through deliverance so many things happened in my life my husband even got saved god and uh, so many things happened better things I'll, i'm able to share without nyongo <laughs> <laughs> god 
But between 2017 and 2022, I was able to thank God this time around I was stronger and I was able to fight them. I was able to fight them and I was able to fight them and I was able to fight them. I was able to fight them. Good. I wish you would be able to fight them. I'm going to go to the situations in my life. I'm going to go to the situation. It's like before anything else, you've built yourself again to talk about prayers and to talk about your God. Yes. I'm going to say that the staff is going to be able to understand it. It's going to be able to get a situation that you almost could give up. And if you had a place, you could give up and you could have a place in the world. Yeah. Sijui ta mwambia ya. Um, wajo mimi, changamoto yangu ilikuwa denial. Na kuna watu ingi who lose wapendo wawo, uneza lose mama, uneza lose mtoto, uneza lose mume. Alafu unawa katika hile hali ya kutokubali. Na kuna possibility kubwa sana ule mtoto waza kukutokea. Na utafikiria ni malaika. Sabu wakati wakwanza nilipo share hii testimony, nilipata calls mingi sana. Watu wakiniambia mamangu unitembelea, mamangu pia na kujanga na nipikia chapati. Siji babangu wana niambia nga hivi na hivi. Yes. So wakati unapata huyo mama na kutembelea si mama. Jambo ambalo ningependa kusema ni wakati umempoteza mpendwa wako. Mwachilie. Kubali. Na wakati umekubali, healing inanzanga kutake place there and there. Because mimi, I was able to bury my dad in 2019. That's when I mourned him. Na hiyo time tandulieza kwa attend a burial na nika view coffee. Mwenye ako kwa coffee nikona siye ye, nikona mtutofauti na ye. So, acceptance is key in every pain, in any loss, because unajua kifu inakuanga kitu painful, na kiu umeluzu mtu unapenda, acceptance, the road to acceptance inakuanga very wide and very long. Na wakati unapiti hali kama hiyo, uspokuwa na watu ambo ni destiny helpers katika maisha hako utomia. Jumimi kama ningepata watu wako nishikilia hiyo wakati wakwanza, maybe singefikia hapo maile nimefikia. So it's good to let go. It's good to accept. Unakubali na kucherish zile memories ulikuwa nazo na mpendwa wako. Haijalishu ulikuwa mpenda kiasi kipi. Learn to let go. Kwa sababu maisha, lazima kukue na vifo, lazima kukue na pain, lazima kukue na suffering. Lakini mimi, today I cherish my scars because hizo scars ambazo nilizipitia, mungu alitaka ni share na wewe na mwingine ambaye napitia hali kama niliyokuwa ninaipitia na wakati ambapo kuna changamoto tumainia Mungu ana uwezo kukukomboa ana uwezo wa kukupa nguvu na ukupa second chance in life kama si Mungu mimi ningemezwa na makaburi hata wale watu wetu wangejua niko wapi ndio ningemezwa na nifunikwa na ikuivu lakini neema ya Mungu ilitosha sababu iliweza kuni deliver from being swallowed by the graves Asante sana Virginia God bless you Amen na pia wewe mwenye unatitizama leo I'm certainly sure unapitia maybe wakati ambao huwezi elezea eh, na wakati mtu anapitia hizo hali sometimes huwa hawezi kuongea zinaweza kupeleka zikakusonga zikakufikisha mwisho lakini kila kitu kiko na wakati wake Virginia ameshinda she is now giving a testimony ya kukuambia usikubali kumezwa na mambo ambayo eh, ni ya kishetani unasikia ni ghost Eh, wenye hata wanapitia the same situation the way to out of it ni kwa mini mungu kutegemea mungu kabisa asante sana virginia na wepi ambayo umeku kitutizama asante sana see you next time same place same channel ambapo tunasema kafa kwa ya aria mimi naitua the black indian kama u wakamlesh bye bye